All right, so I have no idea what opinion I'm going to have coming out of this article, but I'll tell you what, man, this this is this is just dumb. I, I, I don't know what point is going to be made here. I have not read it whatsoever, um, but yeah, I, really? I want some nasty! Are we having fun yet? All right, so before we get into this article, there's a couple things, okay? Just just a couple. Uh, first and foremost, shout out to Orameshi Kun uh, on Twitter. Thank you for sending this to me. I actually saw it a couple days ago um, in which someone mentioned it on Twitter and I, I just ignored it. But uh, once you sent it to me, I was like, okay, all right, maybe it's making some rounds. Um, I saw a few more people talking about it and I was like, all right, all right, all right let's, let's, let's go into it. Um, now I did want to get out that, get that out the way. So I really do appreciate you sending me that. And if anybody else has any articles or any topics you want me to talk about, you can send me a DM on Twitter or Instagram. More than likely I'm going to see it on Twitter, clan the Spurs fan on Twitter. Um, now with that being said, really quick, if you guys want to support the channel as well, clan the merch fan.com. I'm, I'm actually wearing a shirt right here. It's, a uh, the Fresh Prince of San Antonio, of, of San Antonio. Uh, yeah, yeah. So if you guys want to support, please do. Link in the description there. I really do appreciate all the love, nonetheless. All right. So, man, San Antonio rookie Jeremy Sohan in trade rumors. What? Okay. Uh, this is probably gonna be done. Inside the Spurs, uh, uh, wait, Inside the Spurs identifies five of the biggest NBA storylines in addition to relevant San Antonio Spurs news and analysis. Okay, let's see. Jeremy Sohan trade idea. This was from Bleacher Report. You gotta be kidding me. The Spurs could, get, this is so stupid. The Spurs could gauge the Dallas Mavericks interest in Jeremy Sohan's immense defensive potential. San Antonio uh, probably shouldn't ship Sohan out for Dallas. 2023 first rounder alone that selection is most likely to be a number 10 which isn't quite enough value for sohan who has an outside shot at making the all rookie first team but if the mavs sweeten the pot with future seconds or Jaden hardy the spurs should absolutely consider it okay no <laughs> absolutely not okay so let me go ahead and say this okay Jaden Hardy, in my opinion, I mean, I kept up with them quite a bit last season. As you guys know, last season, we went through every single draft prospect. And I, I'm, I'm doing it for this season as well. I, I need to put more videos out, but I, I have been doing it nonetheless, and we're, we're going to get those out. But with that being said, guys, Jaden Hardy, I knew he was legit before. Scouts knew he was legit before. Teams knew he was legit before. Um, he's not a player that got selected in the second round and people are like confused. Like, what the heck was he? We didn't know he was going. The San Antonio Spurs were literally like a pick or two away from getting Jaden Hardy. So why in the world would you take a number 10 overall pick in which the number 10 pick is not going to be good as Jeremy Sohan? Not at least in my opinion, from what I've seen thus far, I just don't think that that's going to be the case. Let's just say if like for some reason we, you know, you get the 10th overall pick and you get Jairus Walker or whatever. I mean, he's similar to Jeremy Sohan, but he's not Jeremy Sohan and he's probably not even going to be available at 10. Uh, so yeah, it, look, the player at 10 is not going to be as good as Jeremy Sohan. I'm sorry. I just don't believe that. And with Jaden Hardy, while I really do like Jaden Hardy, he's a really good player. He's not somebody where like it, at least, you know, fans are pretty shocked by it, but I, most people weren't shocked or teams weren't shocked by Jaden Hardy's production. Like people knew that he was going to be pretty decent. It was just so much talent in this last draft. But with that being said, I don't think that that's worth it at all. Um, I mean, the San Antonio Spurs, as it stands right now, I mean, I know that, you know, people look at this team and they're not super hyped yet on Malachi Branham, but even Malachi Branham, as far as shooting, he can bring you quite a bit. Now, Jaden Hardy, he, he's a monster, right? But uh, Malachi Branham can bring you that level of production, I think, on the offensive end when it's all said and done, just give him a few more years. So I don't know. It just seems like a really silly thing to do, especially with someone like Jeremy Sohan, who has already excuse me, solidified himself as a, a pillar for the San Antonio Spurs franchise franchise going forward. I truly do believe that he will be the glue guy. And when you start getting comparisons to Mono Ginobili, your rookie year, by Greg Popovich, yeah, I'm sorry. You, you, you're you not going anywhere. This, this is stupid to even entertain. I can't believe Bleacher Report even put that out, uh, out there. You say two, who's Spurs' best player? 
who cares? Finishing with just 22 wins, there wasn't a lot to celebrate in San Antonio this season on a team level, but a few individuals enjoyed some personal success. That's actually, I mean, it's, it's, it's a dumb question, but like, who's the best Spurs player? I don't know. I'm probably going to roll with Sohan, honestly. I don't know. And then maybe Devin Fassell. I don't know. Doug McDermott is a great teammate. We all know. What, what's the point of these? Uh, NBA playoff schedule. Take a what? I don't. I don't. Okay. I don't know about those. But this right here. This is dumb. This is absolutely dumb. Let's see if we can get any more context on this offseason. Every NBA team that missed the play in. All right. Yeah. Let's find the Spurs. Oh, wait. Did they include us with this? No, they did. All right. Hold on. All right, we're in alphabetical. No, we're not in alphabetical order. Okay. No, thank you. Let's see. There we are. All right, let's see. Any other context here? With the possible exception of Devin Fussell, who logged only 32. So no one cares. Uh, or more boldly, the Spurs could get. Okay, here it is. All right, so it starts off with that could mean sending Keldon Johnson to. So not only are they talking about trading Jeremy Sohan, they're also talking about trading Keldon. All right, so let, let, let's read through here, okay? With the possible exception of Devin Fussell, uh, who logged only 32 games this past season, the San Antonio Spurs don't have the promising cornerstone so many other rebuilders already possess. Dude, we, dude, that's the point of the rebuild. We're trying to get that. I mean, the only person that we do have that I think is going to be like a cornerstone, I, I, I know he said Devin Fussell, but yeah, Devin Fussell. Uh, and Jeremy Sohan, I think, personally, and you're trying to get that in this draft too. I don't know. That'll change if San Antonio wins the lottery and Nav's Victor won by Yam. Well, yeah. But any offseason trade uh, should still focus on finding another crack at a high ceiling prospect. Uh, that could mean sending Kellen Johnson to the Portland Trailblazers in a package for their 2023 first rounder, which should land within the top five. Do. Are they. Do they really think. Who wrote this? Do they really think? Am I am I am I reading this correctly? They really think that we'll be able to get Portland's first round draft pick with Keldon Johnson? Is that what they're saying? Johnson profiles as a solid starter and San Antonio shouldn't surrender him lightly. But a top five pick should yield someone with more potential. Are they serious? Guys, I'm gonna tell you this right now. There's no way, okay? I, as high as you, some of you are on Keldon Johnson. There's no way in in any universe that the San Antonio Spurs will be able to trade Keldon Johnson for a top five pick in this draft. There is absolutely no way. There, there's, there's no, no one is dumb enough to do that. I'm not saying Keldon Johnson is a terrible player, but what I am saying is, he's he's nowhere near. <laughs> the, the the potential of the top five picks in this upcoming draft there, there, there there's no reason for anyone to do that this is dumb this is all irrelevant let's see uh moving on we read that because that was in the other thing uh oklahoma city has sga uh holmgren and uh williams the pistons have k cunningham and Jaden ivy the rockets have Jalen green and sing Shin Jun. uh I, um i really like him by the way uh charlotte has Lamelo. san antonio needs his own potential superstar to keep pace with the other teams up uh, on the on the upswing i do agree with that yeah we all know that we we all know that this is dumb though all right i'm getting out of here i'm getting out of here. there's no point in even entertaining this anymore um yeah this would not happen this makes no sense i'll give it you guys later uh you want to support the channel clan the merch fan.com as always link in the description um but yeah so yeah get with you later uh, until next time bye